What's up everybody? I'm Monkey Mike. This is Monkey Wrench and thanks for joining me today. I'm excited to continue me out a month. We've got lots of good stuff happening today. GT500 injectors are in. First start happened today. The new Speed EFI mainboard came in because I'm stupid and I fried my old one. Everything is working great. Shout out to those guys. Not only did they give it to me with quickness, they did it for free. I'm going to send them some money. They don't know it yet. I asked how much they wanted for it. They didn't say anything. To me, that's, you know, we'd like some money, but we're not going to charge you. That, no, I'm going to send you guys some money. So thank you for that. If you guys see this, I really appreciate you, Chris and Isaac. Amazing customer service. If you have a Miata and you're not on a standalone yet, please go check out Speedy EFI. I'm not sponsored by them. I have paid for everything, but they are amazing. I have all the products they make for this car. And we've even got some happening for here. As you can see, stickers are in. I'm going to put those up on the site here soon. So, you know, quick merch plug. Go check out shirts, hats, beanies, hoodies, all sorts of cool stuff. we got more to come. Check that out at monkeywrenching.bigcartel.com. Update on the cam swap. So just real quick, I want to touch on this. I haven't tested to see if the water pump is working yet. The thermostat plugged up. I put a new 180 thermostat in there. I haven't been able to test it yet because I fried the main board on the ECU and I just haven't been able to start it and I'm not a big fan of only cranking the engine over just see I want to actually get it up to temperature and make sure it's not going to overheat. I did pressure test it there was no pressure issues the engine is running just fine there's no misfires or anything like that I don't believe anything is wrong as far as head gasket or anything like that. I, I believe it was the thermostat. The water pump is brand new. It's got 260 miles on it. So meh, let's just move on from that. So as you can see here, the GT500 injectors are in. I did film a little bit so I can show you guys how the assembly of that worked and how the, oh my God, that's so bright. And I can also show you guys the basic install, which is really, really simple. I'll list the parts below that I got. So if you want to assemble the same kit yourself for a fraction of the price, you're more than welcome to. These are again, GT500 injectors. I do run 60 PSI, which is four bar versus most people in a Miata run. Well, NA is 50 from the factory and I run a rising rate fuel pressure regulator. I actually see upwards close to almost 100 PSI at full boost, which currently I'm running at 28 PSI boost. As you can see, our ducktail showed up, so I'll get that installed here soon. What I want to talk to you guys about today, though, as far as setting up the injectors, this stuff, this stuff is important. So I don't mind showing you guys what my fuel map looks like because, well, this isn't going to be what it looks like. This is just a rough guess to get it to start up just so you guys can see that she does start up everything's good everything primed let's go ahead and just shut this down for a sec actually let's make sure she's gonna start so we're gonna pull the ve table back up currently yeah we don't we don't have enough fuel here which is where we need for startup so we're just gonna select them both we're gonna raise that fuel up It's not not enough at all so let's get that fuel up again there we go oh oh okay looks like we need more fuel here which is fine And that's that. So just showing you the basics of how you do this. I did scale the injectors. So we'll just go ahead and burn this real quick because we'll keep that. Um, this isn't going to read right mainly because I have to turn the ECU on. So as you can see here, the ECU is on. I have everything on switches and fun stuff here. Uh, the ECU is still connected, so it still has base power. We can mess with things 
uh, but it will not read the sensors properly because the sensors are not powered up. So something we're going to do first thing is we're going to go here to engine constants, required fuel. With these injectors, which are 606 cc's at two and a half bar, which is what injectors are actually measured at. I believe that's 43.5 PSI. So I did some math here. This is what it would be at 60, and that's I, I did the pound hour. I believe they are 57.8 pounds at two and a half bar. So you just go ahead and do the math there. This is for me at 60 PSI, so that's gonna be the required fuel. Next, you want to set up your injector characteristics. Now, I've already done this, but as you can see, I inputted the voltage correction. Hopefully, the glare is not too terribly bad. You can see there, the voltage correction has been changed. And I'll put up a little graph on here as to what the voltage correction is. You want to make sure that your injector open time is 1.3 because it's 1.26. This is, again, at 4 bar. So we go to burn. Okay, and watch what happens here. We close it out, we'll open it back up, injector characteristics, and you see that it went to 1.3. I'd rather have it be 1.3 than 1.2. A little bit more is better than a little bit less. That and because, you know, how rounding works. So we're just gonna go ahead with 1.3, and if we need to, we will lower it. Um, I'm not too concerned about that, to be honest. So injector timing, I don't mess with that at all. Um, I do leave it on open time only. And again, you can see the voltage correction. From there, you just have to play with your VE table. You have to adjust it for how you want yours to run, how it needs to start up, uh, whatever your timing may be, your compression, things like that. I am 8.8 .8 to one compression. This is because I have nine to one pistons, and then I also have a thicker head gasket, which help lower a little bit of the compression. So my timing map is fairly aggressive due to that, especially for being on pump gas. I'm on 91. See, we got our, our deal here, which is perfect. Hasn't gotten in the way once. Pretty stoked about that. And so again, the reason the cam hasn't been put in yet is because I have to mess with the timing. I'd have to take the timing belt off in order to put this on. And I wanna know if the water pump is bad, I don't wanna do the timing multiple times. <laughs> I would uh, rather know, and I probably am gonna buy an electric pump if that is the case and install that and just bypass the mechanical pump. If the mechanical pump is still good, which all I gotta do is, you know, take the cap off, get it up to temperature and make sure I see that the water is cycling. As long as the water's cycling, we're good to go. Um, that should be it for today's video. Thanks guys for showing up. I just wanted to let you know where we're at with the GT500 injectors. The Speedy EFI is the new board. So it's a 1.3 board too. I actually have the original version one board, which only had a 2.5 map sensor. This one has four bar. Uh, so yeah, thanks for being here. See you in the next one. Peace.